No one knows exactly how long humans have been sailing, but we're pretty sure it's been at least 20,000 years. Be it a dugout canoe or raft, we've been voyaging and exploring for a long time. More recently, sailing has been strictly for pleasure. No more square riggers carrying commerce around the globe. But in that statement lies the problem we're going to discuss in this brief video. For the last 100 years or so, sailing for pleasure was sort of a contradiction because any sort of long-distance cruising requires someone to steer the boat 24 hours a day, not leaving much time for the pleasure we are supposed to be seeking. While there have been various methods of letting the boat tend to itself underway, there had not been a development of a piece of popular equipment that your average sailor could employ to handle the task of steering. Until 1948, when Herbert Blondie Hassler, an enterprising retired British naval officer, designed a servo pendulum self-steering system. In recent years, there have been several popular wind vane systems, including the Monitor, the Ares, and Hydrovane. At the 2015 Annapolis Boat Show, I got a chance to speak with the designer of what I think is the premier self-steering system. I got a chance to talk to the designer of the Cape Horn Wind Vane System, Eve Gillenel. All right, so we're at the Annapolis Boat Show, and we're here with world famous Yves Gillenot, <laughs> who uh, actually, if we can see the book here, uh, wrote the uh, Jean de Sard uh, journey where he sailed around the world back in 1982. 82. 81 uh, Where he was dismasted <laughs> and ended up flying back home and then had that perseverance and decided to put his rig back together, yeah. got back in his boat, and made it around the world. Yes. So, Mr. Gemino, uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about your design here of the Cape Horn wind well, vane? Uh, I wanted to go around the world nonstop. I didn't succeed. I was dismasted. But I designed the self-steering gear. I needed the self-steering gear that would be totally dependable. And there wasn't any on the market that I was happy with. So I had to design my own. It was the third self-steering gear okay. I had designed for my boat. And uh, I tested it around the world. And in 28,000 miles, I never steered. So then I figured I could, uh, with a peace of mind, offer it to fellow sailors. All right. And um, contrary to other self-steering gears, which are bolted to the transom with lines led over the deck to a drum on the wheel, this gear is integrated into the boat. There's a tube here that goes through the transom, which links the servo pendulum trailing in the water behind the boat that provides the energy to pull the boat's rudder right. to a quadrant inside the laser. Right, now that's what I didn't know. I had seen the uh, the wind vanes that run off the blocks on the line to move a tiller, yes. but I had never known that your wind vane did this. Yes. This is very dynamic. Let's pause for a second and take a closer look. Look at that. All of the major components of the Cape Horn wind vane are inside of the boat. You know, None of the messy lines running on deck, you know, eliminating potential chafe and wear of the lines. And it just looks better. And if you see right there, there's an internal quadrant that you can hook an autopilot to that he's going to talk about in just a second. Yes, and we leave the lines from this, the wind vane quadrant to blocks on the boat steering quadrant. Mm -hmm. And all you have on deck is those two jamming cleats to connect or disconnect the gear instantly with lines going through the vertical bulkhead to two jamming cleats right. in the cockpit. Right. Well, i tell you, that's something I didn't expect and I didn't know. And I'm glad that Andy Shell <laughs> told yes. me to come talk to you okay. because this is, this is wonderful here. I like that. Plus, with the option of still having the, um, the emergency tiller. Uh, um, Emergency rudder. With Emergency the rudder, right. Emergency, Emergency rudder, I'm sorry, rudder, correct. Uh, on the wind and also this combines both wind and autopilot steering. And show me how you can use the when little insert. When there is no wind, instead of uh, 
connecting your big, heavy, power-hungry autopilot. You hook a small tiller pilot here right. that steers the servo pendulum. So you get still, still the servo pendulum that provides the muscle to pull the boat's rudder, and, and that helps you with the mechanical advantage in terms of how the tiller pilot won't use that much energy. He feeds a milliamp. Right, right, right. And it's never overworked. Versus trying to have a, uh, a, a autopilot that's pulling this heavy thing. Yes. Very good. Very good. So what's what's the website? So if we wanted more information about that, kporn.com. Kporn.com. Again. Just as elegant as you are, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you. My pleasure. I thoroughly enjoyed my conversation with Yi Jelena. He is quite a character. If you're not familiar with him, he is definitely a worthwhile read. Or if you'd like to rent his movie, you can rent it uh, from sailingchannel.com and I believe maybe even from Amazon. Uh, the name of the movie is Around the World with Jean de Sud uh, by Yves Jelena. And I believe he sailed in an Alberg 30 uh, around the world in 1981 and 82. Uh, he was dismasted, but, you know, went home and came back. And his perseverance made the entire thing worthwhile. Very, very good uh, movie to watch if you're into uh, sailing videos. And if you're listening to me, I'm sure you are. And I definitely will be putting the Cape Horn wind vane on my big boat. So I hope you enjoyed this. Stay tuned and please like and share these videos with other interested sailors out there. So, until the next time, peace and blessings.